I am Sam Ip. I'm Justin Lozano. My name is Marco Levas. In the beginning, uh, Sam Ip had been shooting videos already for a while, and he had thought that with his growing name, he needed a little more help in, to create a team. So he brought me and Mark on, which was really awesome. Uh, our early projects, we were fortunate enough to go viral and uh, we caught the attention of one of Ip's friends, uh, Clifford C. Trisno, who had the idea of banding us together with himself, who he was a photographer, and try to attack the uh, automotive industry, and it worked out in our favor. Yeah, our first shoot together was for this uh, air ride suspension company called AirX, and uh, Sam had a industry connection there and decided he wanted to shoot a, a video for them in hopes that later on they would contact us for a full feature and uh, unfortunately that didn't happen, but the video did go viral. It was a 15 second Instagram video. And from that, we got a lot of interest from a lot of people within the industry and kind of opened up the door for the opportunities that were to come for us. Light Captures has definitely started moving in a different direction. Uh, we realized that rather than being a media collective and a creative photo and video studio, that we can take it on as a marketing firm with in-house media. And uh, we've definitely changed and have gone in that direction. We're taking a more marketing approach towards everything. We are acquiring marketing accounts from companies who want to have outside help from something like that. And uh, it's definitely really beneficial. And our company has evolved as we've grown. Uh, yeah, working a lot of uh, feature films right now. I just finished wrapping up on uh, FML. Uh, and in between those three weeks of shooting, we we're fortunate enough to land three more uh, features for the, uh, for the remainder of the year with the same production crew. Uh, a lot of short films, try and do my best to work with the only short films that are going to Sundance, Cannes, any kind of film festival. My favorite equipment though would definitely have to be anything that we MacGyvered. Our studio is full of these great tools and sometimes they don't do the job so we'd have to make our own and uh, one of my favorites was getting a remote control operated gimbal and attaching it to a crane and having one guy operate the crane up and down, another guy keeping focus, and the third guy operating the remote on the camera to, to move the camera around. So stuff like that was always pretty cool, especially in our lighting setups. Uh, when we first started shooting products, we spent three full days trying to figure out how to light something correctly. And when we were done, we had tables set up all around the product. We had like six lights. We had you know, silks everywhere, we had flags, we had so much stuff going on. and uh, It was definitely trial and error, and you need to keep that up and keep trying, keep trying, and eventually it's gonna work out, even if it does take three days. Here at Los Angeles Film School, I have learned many different types of cameras and other equipments, and starting from like small cameras to even big bulk red epics, they're, they're not easy to handle. All these camera operators, teaching me all these new techniques and how to hold the camera properly is something that everyone should be learning about. Here at the LA Film School, I've, I've learned to work with everybody and, and to be a, an addict to, to film and, and work with teams that want to make films, uh, want to make beautiful picture, and are down to sacrifice some of their picture to create great sound. Here at the LA Film School, I definitely learned the idea of a, of a team effort. And prior to this school, I always shot by myself and edited by myself, and it was a one-man show. And coming here taught me how to work with multiple people in different departments and how everything comes together as a team. And if, if one person or one side of the team is not succeeding or not doing as well as the other, it's going to show in your final product. So everybody tries equally as hard, and everyone does just as well, and ultimately creates a you know, beautiful image. Be true to yourself, don't quit your craft. The moment you step away from it is the moment you start to lose it. It's just like any other art. So yeah, just don't quit, don't stop.